Welcome aboard Biotrack Selling. On a les sous-titres en français et d'autres langues. We are Pierre, Lisa, and Tiller, now sailing in French Polynesia in the South Pacific. We've transitioned from full-time work to full-time sailing, and we live aboard Biotrack as we sail around the world. We're making these videos to share our enjoyment of our ocean world with you. To help inspire us to continue to create this content, please consider a donation to the Alliance to Cure, the not-for-profit foundation working to cure vascular lesions in the brain called CCM for cerebral cavernous malformation. Well, that's a mouthful, so we just call them CCM. One in 500 of us have one of these lesions lurking in our brains, and CCMs may unexpectedly bleed and may cause strokes and seizures. Any level of support on behalf of Biotrek Sailing would be greatly appreciated. The link is below. Donations are tax deductible. In our last video, we were in Moria, near Tahiti, and we had left for Fakarava. In Fakarava, family was going to fly in and they were going to join us for a couple weeks. Even though the supply ship was in, we had provisioned in Tahiti before leaving, but it's always fun to watch. Being at the fuel dock reminded us how much things had changed since we were in Fakarava 15 years ago when we had to get our fuel and drums. That evening we heard some drums and we went to investigate. The airport in Fakarawa, we were able to take Biotrek straight to the dock to be able to pick up our family. Tiller is always happy to have new crew arrive. And we are too. That often we just sail with the head sail. Normally we put up the main sail too, but the winds are so, so, so light that it's not worth putting up the main sail. There's been a bit of a debate about that because the mast manufacturer says you should never sail with a head sail without the main sail. We don't make a habit of doing it. Some folks do it all the time because it's easier. Only one sail to manage, not two. Another reason to sail with just a head sail is to have good visibility and to go slowly because there are reefs and markers to watch out for. We've got Pro Farm boys there. And we have a reef here. So we're gonna sneak between the two. Navigation in Fakarava means always keeping an eye ahead for these uh, patat or bombies. We stopped at one of the beautiful white beaches that we passed as we were going south towards Harifa. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be like with no distractions. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free Be 
Lots of boats arrived in the Anchorage to seek some shelter from some high winds. And after the winds abated, they all left and we had the Anchorage almost to ourselves. arrived in France Polynesia 10 years ago and since the beginning of my uh, sailing trip I left from France with my boat I was with the plan to like teach kite to the sailor so in the beginning I like follow the sailor and I will teach them like in the Caribbean in Panama uh, and in the Tuamotu and finally I fell in love in the place and so every year sailor pass by and like uh, come to take kite lesson and I really enjoy to uh, teach sailor because I have the same uh, you know I had the same little sailing adventure to come from France to here I know about sailing and I'm a passionate about sailing so I can like compare the teaching of kiting to like a sailing boat and to sailing. So I think I'm, I don't have that much clients but I'm very uh, lucky to be uh, here and with my own small kite school it's like perfect. After trying both kite and wing, Pierre's decided to focus on wing because it's easier to do in fickle winds near the boat and not needing to be taken far away with the dinghy or anchoring in a windy location. Pierre is already pretty good with the kite and the wing, so the step for him is to learn how to foil behind the boat and then put it both together. Perhaps there'll be another video on that, but what a beautiful location to learn. And what keeps Tiller entertained is looking at the fish that live under the boat. They come out if I throw any breadcrumbs or leftovers in the water. And notice, these are remoras. You can tell by the top of their head. When we jump in the water, they go and hide, and generally they leave us alone. But Adrian's wife had an unpleasant experience. She has an eight-month-old baby that she's breastfeeding. Yeah, I jumped in the water naked and it like bit my two nipples. Yeah, it was really painful. <laughs> I just like covered myself and then I got out of the water, but then I saw it was like bleeding all the way around. Some kids just came by in a boat uh, to sell some jewelry that they'd made. They found the shells on the reef on the ocean side, so they said at low tide. And this is called Orsin Crayon, so from a pencil urchin. And uh, I think it's really nice. And uh, have a look at how beautiful their display is. Fabulous. Jolly. C'est bon? Oui, les bijoux, très joli. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Merci à vous. Merci. Our friends on the boats Vitya and Sega came to join us in the two motos they sailed up from the Society Islands. And it was Max's birthday, so first we went for a dive and then we had a party. This was a dive through the Southern Pass with an inward current and there were lots of sharks. Max had made an arrangement with a local restaurant to have a pig roast on the beach with Chef Eliza. <laughs> with uh, the cuisson, yes. Well, the cuisson, yes. Well, the cuisson, yes. And it's a ton cuisson, yes. It's a ton cuisson, yes. 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 C'est un anneau. C'est un anneau. Oh my god! 
Ça a fait des trucs Care perdus. C'est ça. Au fond du bateau. Ah, 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 génial. Ah, génial. Mais moi, je perds jamais rien. C'est un outil de Jinfu, là. Ouais. Oh, oh my god, une oh, yeah, fesse. Tu sais, quand t'as les bras trop courts. Pour réparer les chiottes. Pour Il y a plus de petites batteries, ça fait une lumière. Ah, bah écoute. La cuisine, elle va se saouler. Tout est prêt. Ah oui Allez from the Gluo Rally. Karen and I had decided to stay in French Polynesia rather than continue on to Fiji and New Zealand. And I'll talk about that in another video coming up. We just love this anchorage at Hirifa, so we'll be back. Meanwhile, we're gonna head off to Moria with our family. We left Harifa in the afternoon so that we could anchor near the South Pass and have an early morning departure. The next morning, we exited the South Pass near Slack Tide for our sail to Moria. Jacques was asking about the night watch with the radar and everything else. If we see other boats. No, I said uh, nobody needs to stay up except for care and we one at a time. So I think it'd be fun for you guys. I think it's more fun to sleep. In fact, I called it you. Why? Shit, I'm full of coffee. 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 Que tu, tu peux le faire avec les hommes. Il y a about 14, 15 knots. Et puis le wind va augmenter jusqu'à 22, 21, 22 knots. Et puis le drop va back à 15 knots small. Et nous devrions arriver à 8 o'clock pour le matin. We're thinking it could be a stormy night. So far we've been sailing for uh, 11 hours and 41 minutes. We left at 6 this morning. It's almost 6 o'clock at night. Average speed is only 10.2, but maximum speed is 20.7. We've just crossed our first 19,000 miles with this boat. Wow. And we're going kind of fast now, but... It's going past the TV. There's a whale over there. I'm steering the boat. 
Team Mayor, I reckon BB. Good night's sleep. We enjoyed relaxing and doing water sports the following morning. And then it was time to head to Tahiti so Jacques and Manon could catch their flight. We crossed two rally boats en route. Jams, who was at sea, and Pump 3, who was leaving. As we headed back to Tahiti, we saw whales, but I didn't catch them on camera. Oh, we had a huge jump. Then I went and got my camera. Let's hope it jumps again. We're just going back to Tahiti, and I think we're going to get some rain as we come in. So here we are visiting the Polynesian Marais in Tahiti. It's a little bit rainy. Back in the city, we had a fun night out, and then all had brought some wigs. If you like this video, please consider donating to the Alliance to Cure. It's a not-for-profit foundation working to cure cerebral cavernous malformations, or CCM. Link is in the description below, and you can also get more information there. <laughs>